and welcome to Nollyview. My name is Aderi Salayaba and this is where we talk about Nollywood from start to finish everything Nollywood right here on Nollyview. Right here on Nollyview we do gossip, sorry, Nollywood news, <laughs> Nollywood stories, Nollywood gist and we also do movie reviews. Sometimes we give you uh, behind the scenes of movies you'd like to see especially cinema movies, yes, those are the reigning films and all of that. So on Nollywood, we do everything Nollywood. We want to support our industry. We want to talk about our stars, our directors, producers, about the movies, everything. Let's celebrate our industry. We always go Hollywood, Hollywood every time, but let's do our own thing for our own selves and by our own selves on Nollywood. I'll take a break now. When I come back, my movie review for the day. I'll see you after the break. Welcome back. You're still on to all of you. My name is still Adairin Salah. I didn't do a name change in between the break. All right. So the movie review for the day or off the day for the day off the... You figure it out. Movie review for today. A Place in the Stars. I like to talk about cinema movies because movies that go all the way to cinemas, we can do some ratings, box office, you know, all of that. And this movie is doing like average really well, five, between numbers five and six on the top ten charts box office. We should talk about it, right? A Place in the Stars, a movie featuring fantastic, fantastic actors and actresses. Okay, yeah. Matilda Obaseki, actress. <laughs> anyway, fantastic actors on the set of this movie. Shegwan Rinze, the Igbo Yoruba man that brought his Igbo-ness into this movie. Chief Diokpa Okonkwo brought it's home. Anyway, I'd not get ahead of myself on the movie review. Let me talk about the story. So A Place in the Stars, it's a story of a young lawyer who's turned between making millions and keeping his integrity, values, and everything in check, everything daddy taught him. He wanted to like have a place in the stars when he was a kid. His dad told him that to get a place in the stars, you'd have to be good, you have to do all good things, and then you go to the stars. And he's like, okay, daddy, I want a place in the stars. So he grows old, and then reality faces him, and He's caught up in the middle of um, a drug, um, counterfeit drug trafficking scheme with the whole godfather, drug baron, all of that, guns, assassination attempts, and all of that. And he has to choose. In fact, they're even offering him money. They're like, okay, come, we'll give you a lot of money. Just don't talk. All the information that you have, don't let it out. Dude has to choose between that and making a lot of money. So this story is really about, I, I'm sure you know where I'm going. Later, um, the Rakin Yuli story, the Nafdak story, 2006, you know how the whole thing went, where she stood her ground. May her soul rest in peace, by the way. Um, basically, that's the story. Papa, how are stars formed? When one is good, honest, and unselfish in all their dealings, they are given a place in the stars and they go on to be a guiding light to all of us on earth so that we do not err from the path of goodness. Now there is no place for any other kind of person. I want a place in the stars. Just walk away. Let it go. It is the highest evil of our generation. It is worse than HIV, AIDS, malaria, and the arm robbery put together, the effect of fake drugs. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! There's nothing I can do to stop it. The system that should stop them is already compromised. And I'm not the one to grow a conscience over it. You don't know who you are playing with, huh? Oh, of course I do. You're a crook and a murderer. But nothing but a cheap blackmailer. But I promise you one thing. This will be the last cheap trick you pull. You disappoint me. Money isn't worth much if you can't face yourself in the mirror. This is my opportunity to take my share, and I'm going to take it. Even at the risk of your own life. Ima. Old man. 
So now about the acts in it. Shegu Arize, Gideon Okeke, Femi Branch, Dejumo Lewis, and uh, Matilda Obaseki. Yeah, Yemi Black. I like Femi Boys. I like Yemi Black. Yemi Black was also on this movie. My director, you're very handsome, so I like you too. <laughs> All right. So as I was saying, as I was saying about the movie, A Place in the Stars, this movie has a lot of action in it. Nigerian movies are going places. Like, seriously, man, you don't have to go to the cinemas to see all these Oimbo films anymore. Nigerian movies are cutting it now. Like, man, the action, the whole um, on the bridge, the express cars hitting, the police guns and every... Uh -uh. Steve Gukas, that was a fantastic, fantastic job. He directed that, by the way, and also co-produced the movie. Beautiful. He wrote Keeping Faith, so I'm sure you like had a feel of something he's done before. Beautiful movie. I would not tell you if Gideon Okeke, that's the, he acted as a young lawyer, by the way. I won't tell you if he fell for it or if he followed what daddy said some years ago about following values, keeping your values in check, being a good person and all of that versus the millions. When you see millions, values what? Anyway, go and see the movie at the cinemas. You really, really, really want to. Yes, before I forget, Money Matters. 160 million Naira budget. When I'm talking about money, I get really heated up and all of that, man. That was like a lot of money. The budget for the film, 160 million Naira. That's like 160 million Nigerians, 1 million per. I need to get my own share of the money. That was a lot of money they put into that movie. All of you that plan to buy the DVDs, the fake ones on the roads, please, 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 please do not do that. Let's encourage our people. Let's watch it at the cinemas. 1,000 naira, free popcorn, free... Ah, you know those days, right? Mondays... Okay, I, I don't do free popcorn and drinks. I buy my own things at the cinemas. Anyway, go encourage um, the writers of the movie, encourage the owners of the movie, see the movies, encourage our stars, and let the money come back home. Don't take it to Alaba at least to the ones that are not doing the right things in Alaba. We know that there are still good people in Alaba. Enough said about the place in the stars. I can't wait for Nollywood gist to come up, Nollywood gossip. I'll see you after the break. Hang around for gist gossip stories. Welcome back. I can see like there are more people uh, around the TV, okay, I really cannot see you guys, but I'm sure that when it comes to gist and gossip, everybody like gathers to hear the gist. And I like to bring you good gist. I, mean, I don't gossip about Nollywood people. I say good things about them. I celebrate them. They are my people now, so seriously, I should celebrate. I'm famsing, I know. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to let you in on the latest gist, latest happenings in the industry. I'm sure you've heard a little bit of this and that, but then we give you authentic gist right here on Nollywood. Hang around. Hey guys, my name is Oge and I love music. Do you love music? What kind of music do you like? R&B, <laughs> classical, rap, rock, soul. Don't forget a Niger brothers, because we got it from Niger town. Yep. We got it all here on our TV. So if you like to use some music, join us. Wow, politics, politics. Like, seriously? I don't know if it's because um, RMD and um, Sam Dede and the likes already went ahead and did some, like, took up some political positions and appointments and all of that. Everybody's just like, 2015, 2015, ah, ah, bring the game on. But really, nice one. People should go out for what they want, you know. If you really want something, if it's been a lifelong dream, why not? I beg, go ahead, pursue. No harm in trying. You never know if you can fly if you sit in one, in one position, so. Fly if you wanna. Let's encourage our people. If they win, if they, sorry, if they win their primaries, go out and vote if you have to. Encourage our guys. They just may have the solution to a lot of our problems in Nigeria here. All right, nice one. And then, yes, Auntie Buki writes, I hope and sincerely hope that all of these stories about you fighting for the women and, you know, fighting for positions for the women and this and all of that, I hope that you would actually do that. And the money, the money, would not stare you hard in the face and then you get distracted. I hope that you do that. Yes, Genevieve, wow. Like seriously, the babe is a diva from head to toe. How many of you can actually 
cut your hair, all these things that we're wearing, it covers a lot of stuff. But then I cut my hair 2010, those that know me know I was looking pretty and all of that. So I'm a diva like Genevieve, but seriously, she's rocking it beautifully. I remember Chidima too. Chidima just I, I went all out and cut it. When you know you are fine, you know you are fine. So you can do anyhow, cut it, do it natural, do it. Some people can never go um, without their Brazilian hair. You try it, you're going to burn. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, that's just for another day. And yes, Omotola, who would have thought 20 years just phew, like that? 20 years, she baby even looks 20. And she's done like 20 years in Hollywood already. So guys, just look around. If you're in the UK, Ghana, wherever you are, she's going around the world. And Tomatala, please take me with you. I want a vacation at one of the countries. Like, seriously? Maybe when you get to Yankee or something, just take me with you. I like to farm a lot. You never can tell. Somebody might just be like, yes, this girl, I really should take her. But the nice one, 20 years in the movie industry, and you're still hot, still rocking. Kudos to you. Really nice one. So I'll take home assignment. For this week, politics, we've been talking politics all day, like um, about politics now. And we can't ignore the fact that 2015 is here, elections. We, we will not stop talking politics until everything is over, even after people go to tribunal. Psh, boring just. Okay, not boring. Anyway, <laughs> about politics, I'll take home assignments. Who do you think really should go into politics in Nollywood? I'm not talking about those that already tried, not Kenny St. Brown or D1. I'm talking about just... Look at it, you're like, hmm, this guy, he would really do well in politics. So I think Jide Kosoko would do well in House of Reps. So he would scale defense properly, or, you know, all those kind of things. <laughs> so who do you think really should be in politics in Nollywood? Tweet at us at R2 underscore TV and hashtag Nollyview. Facebook also, facebook.com forward slash my R2 TV. If you don't like our page already, what are you waiting for? Like, seriously? The world has moved on to our TV's page. You're still there. You're still on a long thing. So this is the time when I got to sign out, go out, go home, miss you, see you next week, get you gossip just for the next episode of No Leave You. My name is Adeni Sola Ayaoba. Mouthful, right? Learn it because we're stuck together. I'll see you next week.